I have a comment on violence and ideas together. And the, the first thing I would say is we should remember that this was a very violent society before the revolution. People were accustomed to violence, coercion of all sorts, uh, slavery, warfare. Warfare made up an important part of people's lives even before we get to 1775. And so when this very intense civil war begins and some of these revolutionary ideas begin to emerge from it, um, they're, very, they're very powerful and um, the, the violence, the contradictions, the, the, the coercion, the slavery there in some ways are, are, are what people are used to and they just keep doing it during the war and, and after the war what you have is a place that where you still have violence, coercion, slavery, but now you have these very powerful new uh, revolutionary ideas that do have a lot to do with uh, uh, subsequent American history. And uh, that's one of the things the revolution does is, is introduces revolutionary ideas that people embrace or not, or change their minds about, even as the violence and the coercion and the slavery continues. And that's a pretty big change, I think. Could I, one, one brief response, if I may. I, I was thinking in the earlier session that the issue of violence in the American Revolution is really part of a much bigger issue uh, of the whitewashing of violence in American history more broadly. Uh, and in my view, even the historians of slavery have underplayed the issue of violence. So in the case of the American Revolution, we know there are strong ideological elements to present a heroic story. But this goes on in all kinds of different areas. So I think that may be something worth discussing. Wayne Bodum? I, 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 sorry, I just wanted to brief, very briefly as well. Um, I mean, Aaron, I think you, you, you sort of, as it were, getting the point. I mean, and the, the, so the, the added ingredient is not whether America has always been very violent, somewhat violent, or a little bit violent, <laughs> you know. It's, it's what, uh, in whose name and for what purposes is the violence called forth and with what effect in this particular time period, however we would want to define it, and with what consequence. 